Hey there, welcome to a Feature Friday. I want to show the new dashboard. So this is actually a brand new feature. Um, you may have seen the old dashboard. The new one lets you do a little bit of customization. So I'll take through a couple examples that maybe the other one couldn't do that might give you a little bit more power. So we've got a bunch of ticket statuses. Just we've added things over the years as we're testing and playing around, but I think this will highlight a bunch of different use cases. So maybe you've got a rush service ticket status or a needs invoice or ready for invoice or approval pending um, maybe approval pending means you know we're waiting to hear from this customer for an approval maybe your shop just has um, a subset of your users that are in charge of calling customers so this approval pending could mean a certain person is supposed to contact that customer um, at this point or maybe rush service, just maybe in your shop, that means someone needs to do it immediately. Um, so these workflows can be facilitated by the new dashboard um, pretty easily. So I'll show you that now. It'll have the default settings, just um, red and yellow. I popped this green on here for lead earlier. But, um, you can ignore that. So invoiced are automatically in the default sort. Invoiced will automatically go to the bottom, they'll be green. Yellow will go to the top, and red will go even in front of that. So it makes your yellow and red be like action items and be at the very top of the dashboard. So I'm going to leave the default sort ascending um, for now. If you're a multi-location shop, this will have your different locations. Um, so let's play around. So maybe I want approval pending to turn red immediately and become an action item because that means a certain person in our office is supposed to call that person. So here in the settings, you can actually leave 48 for normal things to turn red, 24 for normal things to turn yellow, and then go down here and say um, color for um, ready for invoicing color for rush service, you can say color for rush service um, will turn red in one hour. Once you do that, anything rush service that hasn't been touched in an hour is just going to be red. So that just kind of keeps it at the top until you get through it. And these will automatically like live update. Um, so maybe the same for ready for invoicing, maybe that just turns yellow immediately and never turns red. So it's kind of always up there toward the top of your list. We'll find ready for invoicing. We'll say red like 999, but it's yellow in one hour. So ready for invoicing are going to be up here at the top of your list. So you can see you can use this to push to do's to the top of your list very easily. Once you've got some settings you like, you can hit save. This will apply for your user. And if you want to push that to your whole team, just click apply to all users and everyone on your team will have that same setting. Please do play around with this and give us feedback in our help section if you've got any suggestions on how we can improve. Thanks.